I have this one question. It's 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 uh, not very serious, but I wanted to ask it. Anyway. No. Um, and that is, uh, I, I think it was short. It was in your first term, and uh, Beach Blanket Babylon did their uh, anniversary celebration, and and you came on stage uh, dressed as an emperor. Um, can, <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, it, it, I mean, it, well, can you tell me about how this came about and and whose idea it was? Well. Uh, first and foremost, I have been uh, part of Steve Silva's Beach Blanket Babylon forever, long before I became mayor. Yeah. I have been. And so when one of the anniversaries, I think it might have been the 30th anniversary or, or something that was about to unfold, uh, she came up with the idea. She wanted to include me in, in some capacity. One of her people said, there's a guy named Phil Frank that had been writing a cartoon every week about the uh, royalty mm -hmm. that Willie Brown seems to try to demonstrate in his capacity as mayor. And so Phil Frank had put together a character uh, of Willie Brown in the capacity as a king and his highness and with a robe and a crown and uh, some dubins carrying me on a <laughs> Uh, on a cart, uh, and that so intrigued Joe Schumann and her team that they went to the people at the opera to see if they would lend them um, one of their uh, king robes, uh, and they did. And that's how that came about. That and Phil cool. Frank kept writing about it, and every time Phil Frank would write something um, really great like he said there was an obsession with looking at myself. So mirror, mirror on the wall, yeah. who is the fairest of all, and all those kinds of things. And so it became just part of the lure of San Francisco, was what Phil Frank would print and what Joe Schumann and Beach Frank at Babylon would display. Well, you know, the Phil Frank cartoons were somewhat critical, right? I mean, they were lampooning, but there was, there was a little needle in there. Totally, and, totally. And so it takes some bravado on your part to to like adopt that? Well, you know, I uh, just think that uh, true artists are literally entitled, and hopefully it's helpful that they do their interpretation uh, because it instantly elevates the level of the individual that they're interpreting about. And I ended up doing Phil Frank's uh, eulogy. Oh. And how did you learn how to deal with criticism over the years? Well, uh, you know, I, uh, some people say uh, your arrogance is what <laughs> equipped you because you always had a different view of yourself and you never let anybody shake you, yeah. <laughs> no matter what the circumstances were. I don't think that's, I enjoy, frankly, uh, I enjoy any form of humor, whether it's about me, against me, or with me, or any other person, I really love to laugh because I think when people are doing the humorous things, there's nothing mean-spirited about it whatsoever. There's no meanness in it. And it comes with a great amount of respect, a great amount of respect 